Hey, welcome back. We are continuing from where we have left at part 2 and this is part 3 of the knowledge check. Please pause the video after reading the question if you want to test your knowledge before I reveal the answer. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Question number 21. Your organization has recently conducted a security audit and found that Four people who have left the organization were still active and assigned global admin roles. The users have now been detected and you have been asked to recommend a solution to prevent a similar security lapse happening in the future. Which solution should you recommend? The options are entitlement management, privileged identity management and identity protection. The correct answer is privileged identity management. Privileged identity management mitigates the risk of excessive, unnecessary or misused access permissions. Question number 22. You have recently discovered that several user accounts in the finance department have been compromised. Your CTO has asked for your help in finding a solution to reduce the impact of compromised user accounts. They have asked you to look at three Azure AD features. Which one should you recommend? The options are identity protection, conditional access, entitlement management. The correct answer is identity protection. Identity protection is a tool that allows organizations to utilize Security signals to identify potential risk or potential threats. Question number 23. The security admin wants to increase the priority of a network security group. What five sources of information will the admin need to provide? The options are, so I'm not going to read the options. I'm going to tell you what is the correct answer. The correct answer is option two. The information the admin needs are source, source port, destination, destination port, and protocol. Network layer and target resource are not needed. NSG security rule are evaluated by priority using five information points. Source, source port, destination, destination port, and protocol to either allow or deny the traffic. Question number 24. The security admin wants to protect Azure resources from DDoS attacks. Which Azure DDoS protection tier will the admin use to target Azure virtual network resources? The options are basic, standard, and advanced. The correct answer is standard. The standard service tier provides additional mitigation capabilities that are tuned specifically to Microsoft Azure Virtual Network resources. Question number 25. Your organization has several virtual machines in Azure. The security admin wants to deploy Azure Bastion to get secure access to the virtual machines in Azure. What should the admin keep in mind? The options are Azure Bastion is deployed per virtual network or deployed per subscription or deployed per virtual machine? The correct answer is Azure Bastion is deployed per virtual network. Azure Bastion deployment is per virtual network, not per subscription or account or virtual network or virtual machine. Question number 26. Much of your organization's application data is in Azure. The security admin wants to take advantage of the encryption capabilities in Azure. Which service would the admin use to store the application secrets? The options are Transparent Data Encryption, Secrets Management, Azure Key Vault. The correct answer is Azure Key Vault. Azure Key Vault is a centralized cloud service for storing your application secrets. Question number 27. 
An organization is using Azure and wants to improve their security best practices. Which Azure specific benchmark would the IT security team need to consider? The options are Azure Security Benchmark, Center for Internet Security, Microsoft Cybersecurity Group. The correct answer is Azure Security Benchmark. The Azure Security Benchmark provides prescriptive best practices and recommendation to help improve the security of workloads, data, and services on Azure. Question number 28. Your organization is using Security Center to assess your resources, subscriptions, and organization for security issues. Your organization's overall secure score is low and needs to be improved. How would a security admin go about improving the score? The options are close old security recommendations, remediate security recommendations, move security recommendation to resolved. The correct answer is remediate security recommendations. To improve your secure score, remediate security recommendations from your recommendations list. Question number 29. An organization needs to continuously monitor the security status of its network. What security center tool would you use? The options are continuous assessment, network map, and network assessment. The correct answer is network map. The network map provides a map of the topology of your network workloads, which lets you block unwanted connections. Let us look into the last question on this episode. Question number 30. As the lead admin, it is important to convince your team to start using Azure Sentinel. You have put together a presentation. What are the four security operation areas of Azure Sentinel that cover this area? Options are Collect, Detect, Investigate and Redirect. Collect, Detect, Investigate and Respond. Collect, Detect, Investigate and Repair. The correct answer is Collect, Detect, Investigate and Respond, not Redirect or Repair. A SIM or SOAR solution uses Collect, Detect, Investigate and Respond to identify and protect your organization's network perimeter. All right, so that's the end of part three of the five part knowledge check episodes. In the next episode, we will go through part four of the knowledge check. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.